Let's talk about the concept of fugacity. Fugacity in Greek means the tendency to escape. Fugacity is similar to chemical potential as it can also be used to provide the criteria for chemical equilibria. The reason fugacity is the better construct is because chemical potential has some mathematical problems. Here's the equation for chemical equilibrium. As the pressure goes to an ideal gas state, or as the gas phase mole fraction of a particular species reaches infinite dilution, we have to deal with negative infinities. Therefore, due to this inconvenience, Gilbert N. Lewis, a famous physical chemist, came up with fugacity, a corrected pressure term which bundles all the fluid non-idealities. He took the Gibbs free energy equation, where P is the system pressure, and he inductively defined fugacity as this, where fugacity has the same units as pressure. Fugacity applies to liquids and solids as well, even though it was derived from an ideal gas. Its only requirement is that the temperature of any reference species must be the same as the species of interest. Lewis noticed that the fugacity of species I in a mixture over partial pressure kept appearing when dealing with his newly constructed fugacity term, and so he coined this expression as the fugacity coefficient with the symbol phi. The fugacity coefficient is dimensionless and states whether or not the species is deviating from ideality. When phi is equal to 1, the tendency to escape is the same as that of an ideal gas, and so the gas is ideal. When phi is less than 1, the gas molecules are more attracted to one another. Thus, the tendency to escape is less than that of an ideal gas. When phi is greater than 1, the opposite occurs. The molecules do not like one another, and thus are more repulsive. Now here's an example of how to calculate fugacity and the fugacity coefficient. Created using Powtoon.